Number nine is gonna be very similar to what we did on number eight after we plotted the points. We're gonna look at the equation, we're gonna pick out the y-intercept, and we're gonna pick out the slope. I mean, not look at the equation, I'm sorry, look at the graph. So here's your line, here is your y-intercept. Where it crosses the y-axis is your y-intercept, so that's positive one, okay? So B is one. Then find another point on the line. So here's another point. When I rise and run, I always start at the lower point, the point closest to the bottom, which is this point. So we rise, one, two, three, four, and we go backwards one. Because we went backwards, that's gonna be negative one, okay? So our slope is four over negative one. Now, if you don't know that that's negative four, then put it in your calculator. Four divided by negative one is negative four. Okay, use this, it's in front of you, you have it, use it. Do not leave the equation, or the slope, four over negative one, that is not simplified. So that's your M and that's your B, so Y equals negative four X plus one. And again, you have time, this test is not long, go to your Y equals, type that in, hit graph, and look to see that it matches what's on your paper. Those look pretty close to me, so I know that my answer is correct. Now, number 10, this is a vertical line, okay? The vertical line crosses one axis, that is the x-axis, so it's gonna be x equals, and it's gonna be where it crosses on the x-axis, which is negative two, so x equals negative two. Remember, horizontal lines, cross the y-axis only, so they're gonna be y equals whatever the y-intercept is, okay? Vertical lines cross the x, so it's x equals whatever the x-intercept is. Now, this one, which is a vertical line, um, we haven't really talked about how to plug that in to the calculator. I know there's several steps that I'm not even um, quite sure exactly how to do it. Um, and there's certain calculators that you can do it on and certain ones you can't. So we won't be able to plug this one in the calculator, but any equation that you get that says y equals, type that in the calculator and compare the graphs. 